Hey, it's Neely from The Pregame Show, also with our partners over at HBCU Game Day. We had a discussion with Coach Prime about his faith, about his journey toward healing and restoration, about his relationship with his players and coaches, and just some general outlook conversations right here in this very sand pit. 40 yards of sand for our student athletes to work out in, but now a place for Coach Prime to rehab, reflect, restore. Because Coach Prime's schedule allows him to come out to this sand pit right outside of his office to rehab his leg and his foot and get stronger as he works toward the Orange Blossom Classic in week one. We take you now to Sands of Time with Coach Prime. Yeah, they're supposed to add more sand because I want it. It comes out to be like 40 yards. Yeah. What's up, dog? What you got? See the agenda. Most of the same stuff, really. The park, I guess, departure and all the stuff that's going on each day. I thought we went wins. Cutting stuff. We did go wins the last time. And they trying to cut us back in Yeah. Day. Ain't no problem. Hey, let me know. I'll I, I, I come in and do it. All right. Come on, Nelly. Let's work these legs. These legs work this piece. How often do you get out here and do this? Um, I try to do it a few times a week. It's good for my foot mm -hmm. and my ankle. It's going to be great for our young men. Get stronger. Yeah. Don't forget my shoulders. Man, you came a long way. Mm -hmm. It works parts of my foot that I don't normally get to work. It makes everything work. There's no business. How does it feel, you know, after a long day of practice or say the camp this weekend, how's it? Swollen. At the, the camp, that was a, a lot of pain. Curse. Whole ankle swollen. But my foot is numb. I don't, I don't really, I don't have feeling yet in my foot, but it, it feels like a boot. It's tape right now. But I get pain, a lot of pain from the weekend. I was, on, I was on it too much. It didn't elevate it enough, but three days back to back like that is tough. Because we're we're having practices in the morning with the team in the camps in the afternoon. And that was tough. tough. Should be ready week one, Miami. Mm -hmm. I'd be ready physically. Emotionally, psychologically, preferably the football program, financially. <laughs> you know, you were uh, really rehabbing and resting. You had mentioned not really feeling your players seeing you down in, in the cart or whatever. Yeah, I ain't like that here. Yeah. You think it's encouraging them now, though, to see you up and about, uh -huh. having seen where you were and didn't give up? I don't know. My players, man, are like his family, man. They're, those are like my sons. So they see me not right. I mean, they know something's wrong. And, and it's like you, you hate to see your mother cry, something like that. It, I can compare it to that. They don't like seeing me limping and down, but not that I was down. Not myself. Not able to walk over to him or <laughs> and check him and tell him I love him, tell him I appreciate him, tell him that they need to step it up, tell him they need to get going. Just challenging them to do better. They like the contact. 
So not being able to be mobile on the sideline. And that's the same thing for the coaches as well. You gotta understand, people think you, you're just coaching players. You coach your coaches too. We have a great staff, but coaches gotta be coached as well. You know, in that regard, coach, you, uh, you coaching the community, you coaching the people, you coaching all HBCUs. What you do here seemingly reverberates more than what other coaches do other places. Yeah, they say reverberates. Can you put that on the screen? Reverberate. Reverberates. I, Big word. I, yeah, I ain't never heard that before. Sound, sounds, sounds sophisticated and good, though. You're being extremely truculent. Whatever truculent means, if that's good, I'm that. <laughs> word power, Jack State. There you go. I like to think that we're the model. But even the model has this function. Because you're the forerunner. You're the catalyst. Like you you're the model. You're the you you that thing that, that has been created and built that people are gonna find holes in to make sure it's right and it's, it's efficient and effective. Ain't nothing wrong with that though. I've always been the model. It ain't new to me. Sound like some folks just hate though. Hey, this is a natural reaction to success. Might have to put the organ on that one. Hate is the natural reaction to success. When you have success, the first reaction isn't love, isn't appreciation or respect. It's hate. Really, you're telling on your relationship with God. Because you really saying that, God, how can you bless him and not me? Not understanding that the God I know is omnipotent. <laughs> all powerful. Bless all of us simultaneously. But it's not like God chose me before He chose you. He just chose me, and it's my time. Your time coming. You better be ready for your moment. I've always been ready for my moment. I've always been ready and prepared for my moment. And I turned my moment into a monument. Get mad at me. Because I make monuments out of moments. Oh, ho, ho. Pride, preach, pride. Preach, pride. Preach. Boy, he said something then. Oh, I feel like just dropping right now. I feel like just dropping. If I was in church, I'd be like. Get that walking, man. <laughs> Now, Coach, I know we ain't nowhere near where you're trying to take us. Nowhere near. No, no, no. But when you first got here on this campus, there was no turf field. No. There was no secondary grass practice field. No, no hill. There was no hill for sprinting. No sand pit. No sand pit. No new locker room. New locker room. When no, you... no, no, no. We, we, we talked about all the things that we didn't have that you can see. But the main thing that you couldn't see, that I saw, it was no hope. Well, you got me working today, boy. You got me preaching today. That, that's the main thing. There was no hope. Forget all these things. Money could buy things. But that one tangible that you can't touch, it's hope. There's no hope. Not even, forget the football, the community. Hope, man. Woo, that foot is starting to hurt right now. It's starting to hurt. It's good for it, boy. It ain't starting to hurt, though. But it works. It. blood thinners. See, when you're on blood thinners, you could get a little cut. And look what it done done to me. Lord help me. Y'all keep on praying for me, all right? I'm all right, but keep on praying. <laughs>